Hi guys, welcome back to the Life's Good. It's not such a nice day today, it's a bit overcast, it's quite chilly and it's a bit breezy. I've had a few issues with the wind as you'll see in the video. Um, I've got a few odds and ends to do today, bits and bobs, so uh, I'll take her along with me and see what sort of mischief we can get up to in the garden. Well today's carrying on as normal. I started putting my uh, seedlings out to start hardening a few things off when this happened. The wind gusted and blew my ambassador peas off of the uh, roof of the nest box that I'd placed them on to harden off. So hopefully I'll be able to rescue these. Doesn't look too bad. I think everything's landed uh, butter side up but a uh, bit of a nuisance get us sorted and there's another job completed I've uh, managed to get rid of that old mint plant that was in there I have taken some cuttings from it and put them in a pot so I'm going to have some mint but uh, the, the old plant was really woody it was rambling all over the place, it managed to get under the shed, it was under the edge of the path, it was going through all my chives, so I've had a good tidy up there. I managed to uh, split some of the chives up, and uh, there's room now I think for something else in here, I have to find something else to plant there, but uh, nothing that's going to take over the garden, so we'll see what happens with that little bit. I've also removed the fleece from the radishes. They're uh, quite hardened off. They're all standing up really well. I've taken the fleece off. I think they should hold their own now. We'll see how it goes. I think if the weather does get pretty cold, I may put some fleece back over them, but it's mild at the moment. The forecast is for milder weather for a few days, so I'll leave them as they are and just keep an eye on them. I think I should be okay with those. I had a couple of old uh, wall baskets. Uh, I think basket is probably the right word. I've uh, taken a few of my nasturtiums and a marigold and put uh, a couple of each in these. I've got one on that side of my little hut and one on that side. I think once they uh, establish they're going to look quite nice. Either side of the doorway to my little uh, tool and potting shed. Another little job I did today, guys, was uh, I've added this piece of wood to the bottom of my plastic curtain. The problem I had was that the curtain kept hooking up and flopping about and uh, not doing its job correctly. So I've added that piece of wood to the bottom and that keeps it nicely in place. It's just like an extra weight that keeps it down. So I'm pleased with that. That's another little job done. I did do some more pricking out this morning. I've uh, pricked out all of my mizuna. So we've got some nice mizuna plants in here. There's 40 of those. And over here in the corner, that's my sorrel. So I've now got 40 nice sorrel plants coming on. So we're looking forward to having some harvests from those. Everything else is looking as it was. I did have a little bit of an accident with my uh, nasturtiums this morning. I dropped those on the floor. Never mind, I think I've rescued them. This is my mint. I've got two or three pieces in here. It looks a bit sad at the moment, but it, it will pick up. Um, it's quite hardy as mint. It'll grow anywhere. And just behind that, I've, I've got some clematis cuttings that I'd taken a few weeks ago. I had them in water for a while. They started to show some root. And uh, I've managed to pop those into pots. So I've got five nice clematis plants here coming on, which hopefully will be able to go out in the garden at some point. And trail on the fences and other areas I want to trail them up. So they should look lovely in the summer. A quick update on the... Um, maximum minimum thermometer it's uh what day is it today it's i think it's the 19th of march um i have not been using my heating in the greenhouse it's actually been staying quite stable for a few days and today i'm in here 
It's about one in the afternoon, and as you can see there, it's not gotten any colder than six at any point, but that's in the last week, and we did have a couple of cold nights. It's currently 16 Celsius in here, and the warmest it's been is 29.5. That's quite warm, but we did have a couple of sunny afternoons, and this greenhouse does warm up lovely with the sun on the glass. I actually have to open the door sometimes to uh, to vent it a bit without it getting too hot in here. So I'm pleased that the, uh, the temperature's staying stable. It's really, really good for all the germination. And uh, I think uh, all in all, it's been very, very successful so far. I made this strawberry planter out of an old water butt. It had a split in the bottom, it wouldn't hold water. Rather than throw it away, I've recycled it into a strawberry planter. I made holes all the way around and put some holes in the bottom for drainage and I had a strawberry patch which was a little bit uh, all overgrown and a bit forlorn. And I've separated all the plants and popped them in these holes. Um, it was an experiment last year and I'm very pleased that this year they all seem to be coming back. So we've got strawberries growing in each of these holes that hopefully are going to provide us with a lot of fruit this summer. That's uh, another successful experiment with that butt. It seemed a shame to throw it away. And notice I put a metal obelisk in the top. What I'm planning on doing is putting some sweet peas in the top. I thought they'd be nice growing up there and hanging over the sides. And you'll notice in the middle there's a black cap. Now that actually in there is an old drain pipe and I compost in there. I put all sorts of leaves and bits and pieces in that hole. And this tub is actually full of worms. Um, They've appeared in there naturally, but there's a lot of them. So I put the compost in that pipe. The pipe's got lots of holes drilled all down it. The worms go in and out and uh, help to compost what I put in the middle. And it provides goodness and nutrients for the soil for the uh, strawberries to grow in. Also, underneath, I've got a little plastic tray. I've put that in there. And all the moisture that drips out of the bottom of the barrel traps into that tray and I pour that back in the top so it's like a I think someone referred to it once as compost tea so I take that from the bottom put it back in the top so it's all more nutrients and goodness for the strawberries so it's a composter and a strawberry planter all in one very pleased with the result of that looking forward to seeing that in full bloom with the sweet peas and lots of strawberries around the outside later in the summer. And of course, the morning's work is not complete until you make yourself a nice hot cup of tea and have a nice slice of homemade bread pudding. Well, that's the gardening over for the day, guys. Thanks for popping in. Nice to see you again. It's time for me to think about having some fun now. I've been busy all morning and... Uh, I've got a meeting this evening with my friends on our motorcycles and uh, I've just gotten mine ready. I'll just turn you around. This is my Stella. She's all washed and polished, ready for my ride out this evening. Thanks for popping in, as I said, it's nice seeing you and uh, I'm gonna go and have some fun and I'll see you again soon. On the life's good. Bye bye for now.